Hi everyone! Welcome to Volusia Reads Stream. My name is Chelsea and I'm with the Volusia County Public Library. Today we are going to learn how sundials work and even make one of our own. So stick with me and let's learn about time-telling technology. Did you know that sundials were the earliest form of the clock? That's right! The clocks that you see everywhere from home to school were all based off of sundials. The first sundial was made in about 3,500 BCE, which was about 5,500 years ago. It was used in so many cultures, from Greek and Roman, even to Egyptian. Sundials consist of two main parts, the pointer and the dial. The pointer, also called a gnomon, points to what time of day it is by where the sun casts its shadow. The dial has different marks on it to represent the different hours of the day. To tell the time on a sundial, rotate your sundial until the pointer, or gnomon, is pointing north. Once you have it set up, look at where the shadow from the gnomon is falling. The number or mark where the shadow is pointing to will tell you approximately what time of day it is. Now that we know what sundials are and how they work, let's make one together. For this project, make sure you have an adult with you in case you need any help. For this project, we'll need a paper plate, a pencil to put in the middle of your paper plate, and something to write with. I have a marker. Let's get started. Start by taking your paper plate and punching a hole right in the center. Around noon, put your paper plate with the straw or a pencil in the center outside in the sun. Where the shadow of the straw is pointing, write the number 12. Then from there, write all the other numbers from 1 to 11 around the plate. As the day goes on and the earth rotates, you'll be able to tell the time on your sundial. Even though sundials have been around for thousands of years, they are still a really cool, fun way to tell time on ancient technology. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. I hope you learned something new about sundials and how they work. For more stream facts and activities, you can visit our YouTube channel at Volusia Kids Read or visit our website, volusialibrary.org kids. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.